Good evening. How is everybody? All right, we got TJ Jones. We got the Wicked Arcade. We got Dimitru. We got Godspeed. How's everybody tonight? Let me turn the volume up a little bit on the mic. That should be a little bit better. I think maybe. How's that sound to everybody? Sweet. All right. Fairway X. All right. So I'm going to give me give me just a second, guys. Yeah, we're we're going to get to that TJ. We're definitely going to get to that. So I'm going to what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to queue up the web page for the uh, for basically for a recap of the events so bear with me just a moment there we go pull this in Line that up real quick. All right, so there we can see it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this so I can also upload it easier later because I know that there's been requests for like official recap posts, recap videos, etc. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, we will talk about um, we'll talk about uh, how things went, some lessons learned, and uh, you know what's going on. So, all right. So, all right. What is up, everybody? It's Drew, and we are. Uh, doing a quick recap of Cincinnati Combat Classic for 2024. Uh, it was a eventful time. Lots of good competition. Seen some faces that we hadn't seen in a couple years. And it was really nice uh, just to have everybody back. It was great to have uh, some new faces. Great to have some good competition. And uh, we're just going to quickly go through the results uh, and give some shout outs uh, while we're at it. So um, we had, let me go ahead and do the full results uh, and we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. And you see, uh, you, you'll, you'll, you'll firstly see uh, a couple of players here, Shane's one and Shane's two. Uh, Shane's one and Shane's two are my buddy Shane's boys. They did not have uh, tags to go on with uh, with the, the first go around. Uh, they actually uh, simply decided that they were only going to play um, in the two v two tournament. So they actually took some. They actually just took losses straight to the losers bracket, and then uh, from the losers bracket uh, to uh, out of the tournament. Uh, so, but we have starting at the bottom and working up. Shane's two Meridian Draconian Biggs Truku. Shane's one, Coosbane, also known as Turd Baby. I prefer Coosbane myself. He likes Turd Baby, but, you know, next year I guess we'll call him Turd Baby because that's what he prefers. Deep, also known as X Pack All Day. Uh, the Shapeshifter, Psh, or Miss Spin, or Katie, or uh, 
whatever you want to, <laughs> there's another word in there, something unit. I'm not allowed to say that. Uh, McLovin's GSP 1175. Uh, and so that takes us to top eight, which was uh, Y77793111. Surprised to see him there, but a pleasant surprise. We'll talk about that too. A Demonicris making his first appearance back since 2019. Uh, myself, uh, Ted Drusus, uh, coming in fifth place tie uh, with Dubson. Fourth place, DDY08, a former champion, a two time former champion. San Fuegos, Black Blade, and Detroit Ballin. So I want to make some shout outs here. Uh, shout outs to Black Blade, actually, who came up. It was his first time here, who uh, came in second in all three of the UMK3 based events. So Black Blade and psh, finished second in teams to Detroit Ballin and Biggs. Uh, Black Blade, of course, finished second in the UMK3 uh, 1v1 main event, and as well as he finished second place in MK Trilogy. So. That was pretty cool to see. Uh, Y77793111. Um, you know, uh, everybody has their, their thing. You know, some people like uh, rage quitting. Some people like menu combat. And uh, the nice thing was, uh, it wasn't like that. In real life, he's a really cool dude. It was nice to meet him. Uh, it was great to get to talk to him a little bit. And uh, offline, uh, he's just as potent of a combatant as he is online. Uh, it was great to see, uh, as well as get to spend a little time with Black Blade. Same thing with uh, Detroit Ballin. It was Detroit Ballin's first time at CKK, and uh, he solidified uh, all of the hype that was surrounding him and uh, pretty much uh, put everybody to rest as far as uh, if he was actually good, uh, if it, him being a keyboard player equated to something else online, which it didn't because he uh, mopped us online just the way he does offline, or mopped us offline just the way he does online. So shout out to Detroit Ballin. So let's go over and look at uh, the next event, which was 2v2 teams. Two v two teams. We had twenty uh, for this event, and so twenty players, uh, ten teams. Uh, we had uh, Shapeshifter and Meridia, myself and Draconian, Truku and Kuzbane, the Minty Boys, which uh, in the previous tournament were Shane's one and Shane's two, McLovin's and Demonicris, GSP and Deep. Sinfuegos and Y, Dubson and DDY, and as I mentioned before, Black Blade and Psh, as well as Detroit Ballin and Biggs. Uh, the cool thing about the 2v2 event, it was the Minty Boys' first time playing in a classic Mortal Kombat competition. And of course, it being their first time, they weren't really knowledgeable about the game, uh, but what was really cool it was... Uh, they did well for themselves. Just you know, I mean, they went zero and two, but they still did well for themselves, as well as uh, a supporting cast around them. It was really cool to watch uh, these guys who are still competitors also kind of show their humane side, uh, showing them the ropes as they were competing, and that was really cool to watch. So shout out to those guys, and shout out to every, and shout out to the guys who played Minty Boys on stream. That was greatly appreciated, guys. And let's go to Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, about half of these matches were played offline. And in fact, uh, the tournament still hasn't ended. Guys, they're still playing over there. No, I'm kidding. Um, we'll look at the final results here. This was another one where we had, I mean, we had a fair amount of players. So uh, McLovin's, Meridia, Demonicris, Draconian. DDY, Kuzbane, myself, Dubson, Truku, Psh, Sinfuegos, Y777. And then in third place was Biggs, Black Blade in second place, and of course the winner, Detroit Ballin. But what was really cool about this one was we got to see Black Blade reset the bracket. 
And I wish uh, in this case we had player cams because it was something really neat to see uh, watching how Black Blade was working over that controller as they were playing. He was able to pull stuff off that most of us can only dream of doing with an N64 controller. Not the best arcade stick out there, but still did a great job with it. So shout outs to Black Blade on that. And of course, Detroit Ballin going in and uh, once again solidifying uh, he's the real thing. He actually had a keyboard that was hooked up, uh, basically the guts of a N64 controller wired up to a keyboard that he was able to use. So that was pretty sweet. And then we had, of course, let's do it this way. MK2, MK1, MK9, also known as MK0 somehow. <laughs> and uh, MK4. So let's start with MK2. That was the first event of the day. We had uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? One, oh, four results. Wait a minute. What am I doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we had 10. We had 10 for MK2. Uh, Kuzbane, Hugo Stiglitz, Scotty Mines, Sienfuegos, Druzas, DDY, Truku, Y, McLovins, and Dubson. Shoutouts to Dubson for the MK2 win. Uh, some really good matches. McLovins had a long way to go. He played more matches than anybody else. Uh, shout out to Cienfuegos, who is his first time playing in a high-level MK2 tournament. Uh, and he finished seventh place, but uh, he enjoyed it. Uh, he actually wants to get into MK2 more, uh, and he played really well. So shout outs to them. Shout outs to Scotty Mines, who's a local guy, as well as Hugo Stiglitz, who traveled down from Cleveland uh, to play in MK2 and MK1. So uh, good deal there. MK1. Oh had to end the tournament here too oops this was another one uh so this was uh this was done in a round robin because we didn't have we only had seven guys so we just did a round robin uh Coosbane, scotty mines Druzus, ddy mclovins dubson and truku shout out to truku for the win uh six to oh uh did not uh did not lose a set to anybody so big shout out to Truku there and Dubson, who I believe who the only person that beat him uh, was Truku. So that was another uh, another really good set of matches. We got to capture directly from the hardware, which was awesome. And I hope to do something very similar, if not the same thing, next year. MK9. It was a five-person round robin. Uh, Biggs in first, Detroit Ballin in second, Demonicris in third. Dubson and Cienfuegos. Uh, I did not get to see a lot of the MK9 tournament. I was kind of working on wrapping things up. It was really well run. Uh, shout outs to uh, GSP uh, for doing a lot of the commentary and keeping the bracket going uh, during that. Appreciate that. It was cool to see uh, the newest of the classics, I suppose, uh, being played. So we had a small turnout, but it was still a good turnout. Mortal Kombat 4. We had three guys, uh, <laughs> and it was uh, for, first place was Detroit, uh, was Biggs, second place was Detroit Ball, and third place was DDY. So shout outs to them for representing MK4. There wasn't a lot to it. Uh, I will get the footage uploaded uh, for uh, for those three matches. Uh, it was still it was fun to watch, and I look forward to uh, getting it uploaded for you guys. So. Uh, CKK 2024 was a great time, uh, and I appreciate everybody that came out. I appreciate everybody that supported it. We had some support come in uh, during the stream as well, so shout-outs to the guys uh, that co uh, contributed. Uh, if you check out the sponsor shout-outs during, during the stream throughout the tournament, uh, you'll see those guys' names uh, mentioned in there as well. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and thanks for supporting CKK. Okay, that was the recording. So, all right. So let me do some shout outs real quick. We got Avis Prada. Go, uh, I presume you just came from the gym, Avis. Goku Ren, what's up? Uh, TJ, Asamon, Jovi, 
fairway. So yeah, it was uh, good to see. So <coughs> yeah, I actually have a good bit to decompress on. Uh, that's why I'm not playing any matches tonight. I'll do it. I think I'll do an arcade run or two. Uh, maybe one of MK2 and one of MK3, something like that. Thank you, Fairway. I appreciate that. Uh, there is a lot of good things to come out of this event. Uh, I mean, we had we had 18, really, for the main event, uh, which was the most we've had since 2019. So it's nice to see uh, people uh, showing back up for these events. We had 20 for the uh, for the 2v2 event, and we had what like 13 or 14 for MK Trilogy. We ended up getting out of there almost an hour late. Uh, and I will upload the footage of Trilogy as well. Uh, the remaining footage of Trilogy. Uh, but the things that were done well, um, we did a good job getting people in. Apparently I'm a halfway decent fundraiser. We ended up uh, between the 2440 that was uh, con uh, contributed to the prize fund prior to the tournament, as well as a little over a, a li like 120 or something like that. We were close to $2,600 uh, for all the events uh, after all was said and done. So uh, that was pretty good. I hate asking for money, but apparently I'm pretty decent at raising funds. So, <coughs> excuse me. That was something that was nice. Uh, it was uh, nice to... Ha nice to um, as, you know, even though these tournaments did seem to take a pretty good while to get done and we did run behind on a few of them, uh, it was nice to, uh, uh, it was nice to have the participation and the competition. Uh, and it was nice to have people willing to step up and commentate as well as help uh, run some of the events. Um, shout out to Biggs. Uh, as he was very helpful running the MK Trilogy bracket uh, on Saturday night. Uh, so, uh, like I said, about half the tournament didn't get run on stream, but we were running way behind. Uh, so shout out to Biggs for uh, helping uh, keep keep that running and running smoothly. Also, shout outs to uh, Bill Party, who was, uh, I believe, our first uh, CKK color commentator uh, we have a lot of guys that have a lot of uh, technical knowledge and a lot of uh, able to talk about the game as it's going on uh, and that's nice and you know the sometimes it, it might get a little bit uh, I don't know what the word is a little bit samey when you hear guys with analytical minds talking over and over again uh, Bill Party came in uh, with a very, uh, very good, in my opinion, very outstanding uh, color commentary. So uh, he's not uh, the most technical player, uh, not the most knowledgeable on the classic MKs, uh, but as far as I could tell, did a great job uh, with color commentary. So it was nice to have. That's a, that's a nice thing to have. Uh, and shout out to Bill Party for his color commentary uh, on Saturday. Uh, everything went well, got the help that I needed. That was really nice to have. Um, as things were winding down, I've, I don't think I've ever had that much help getting stuff broken down, uh, and sent out, uh, to the car. So shout outs to everybody that helped out on Sunday with that. So <coughs> as far as lessons learned goes. Uh, there were a few. Um, as always, uh, UMK3 2v2 teams, it seems like you spend as much time configuring buttons as you do uh, actually playing the set. So I had multiple setups there. If we would have had a few more guys, we would have actually run pools in the top eight uh, for the main event, but we had... 18 if we would have had 20 or so we probably would have gone to brackets uh, and maybe with 18 we should have gone to brackets anyway i don't know the stream setups were there but i said all that to say uh, i have an hdmi uh, input selector so you can seamlessly go between different setups uh, depending on which one you want to stream so i think what i'll do for uh, 2v2 next time 
is have two setups and while one one set of guys are playing the other set of guys can configure so when the guys that are done when, when the guys who are playing are done playing you just hit one button and it switches over to the next set of players uh, while the other while the other machine becomes open for other people to uh, set up on or get set up on and get configured so it's a little more seamless that way it's space boy how's it going yeah umk3 plus tag team that's uh the tag so the tag team is a totally different dynamic um that would be cool to have that streamed as an exhibition sometime um but as far as like 1.2 gameplay umk3 plus at its core of course is 1.2 gameplay by default tag teams obviously is far from default gameplay which is why um it would be really cool to do it as an exhibition Oh, and the other thing that I thought worked really well was, um, so in the past, we've used, hang on a second, I need to get this off here. One, one moment. Um, hold on, sorry, sorry. Uh, in the past... I've used, I think it's called SCP, SCP server or something like that. Uh, and that's worked, um, hold on. Ah, hold on. Ah, how do I, how do I pause this? Hang on. One moment. Oh boy. Can you guys hear the game? I don't know if you guys can hear the game. Okay. Well, I can and it's bugging me. <laughs> okay. And and that's and that's fine. I don't there doesn't need to be game audio right now. I just wanted to put that up on the screen. Whoops. Um Hang on, sorry. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that no game audio is intentional. I just wanted to put this up here. But anyway, um, the problem with SC the SCP server was that it only held four uh, four controllers, uh, like PS3 or PS2 controllers with a with an adapter or whatever and every time after four controllers had been hooked up you'd essentially ha have to reset reboot the comp reboot the main computer uh so everything would cycle and you'd have four new ps3 controllers uh, or ps2 controllers depending on the adapter to go in i downloaded uh last year this uh application called ds3 hid mini ds3 hid M I N I. And you can connect as many PS2 and PS3 and even PS4 controllers to that as you want. We did not have to reboot the, the main stream computer, like the computer that was playing the main event. We did not have to reboot that computer the entire time, despite controllers being plugged and replugged, this, that, and the other. Did not have to mess with it the entire time. It was amazing. And we rebooted it before doubles. And I think that was the only time we might have had to reboot once during doubles, but that was it. So that's another one. Uh, very good something very good something that worked well. So um, and then like I mentioned, you know, lessons learned. Uh, the other uh, another lesson learned uh, would be, you know, when you walk up to an arcade cabinet to get ready to put capture stuff inside of it, make sure you have the keys to the back of the cabinet. Because you need that. That got us a little bit of a delay. We had to change some buttons, but that one was... Uh, that was mostly on me for not making sure that I had the keys for the next day. We got a late start, but we still got it done early. So, 
Uh, that was pretty good. And, you know, sometimes uh, my blood pressure goes up a little bit and I get a little bit nervous and stressed when things aren't going to plan. But overall, it worked really well. I had a lot of cool people there, had a lot of great people uh, that were very chill, that, you know, were understanding that almost no stream ever runs perfectly. And if you expect a stream to run perfectly, it's usually because somebody's being paid to do it, and I'm not. <laughs> um, no, the, they, they had the buttons on hand, TJ, so that was nice. They had the buttons on hand, got them swapped out pretty quickly once we figured out the issues. So that was nice. And and shout out, <coughs> most of all, I think, to Jesse at Arcade Legacy. You know, we get in there. It's a reason, It's a very reasonable, bit, reasonable venue fee for the whole weekend. You know, he not only let us use his his arcade cabinets for or his arcade cabinet for MK1 and MK2. He let me wire up some adapters, those uh, the the undammed USB adapters. He let me wire those up, um, and he let me capture video from his hardware. Uh, also, shout out to Truku for carting his MK1 T unit board uh, with him to the event, so it was just a direct board swap, and we were able to jump right in. So, a uh, big shout out to Jesse. Big shout out to Truku. So, if I think of anything else uh, while I'm playing, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll. I'll think about it and I'll mention it. <clears throat> but that I think uh, is the big one. Those were all the big shout outs, um, the big what went well, and the big lessons learned. So, uh, shout outs to everybody for being, uh, you know, the losers bracket games that had to be taken offline off the stream. Shout outs to those guys for being cool with that. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a little dry tonight. My throat's a little dry tonight. Voice is kind of eh. But yeah, it won't be... Uh, it's another time I should probably mention this. Um, it's not going to be a really long stream tonight. It's been a long few days. Um, actually had... Uh, my uncle's funeral was today. Uh, so we uh, said so long to him. Um, and uh, Thursday, the reason I mentioned in the stream uh, Thursday that there wasn't going to be a streamer that I had to cancel it. <coughs> and uh, that was because um, uh, that was that was because Thursday evening my uncle passed away. Uh, I was in the room with my cousin uh, when my uncle did pass. Um, and that was, uh, it was, it was difficult. And, uh, you know, the, the event, uh, was kind of a, it was kind of a nice escape from that for a few days. Uh, but Monday was a, ooh, Monday was a, uh, stark trip back to reality. And, uh, like I said, we had the, we had the funeral today. And uh, it was a long day overall. And uh, <coughs> that's why it's not going to be a long stream tonight. It's been a, Today's been a lot. It's been a long day as well. So I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. And, uh, and play. So I appreciate the kind words, guys. I really do. All right. So I'm going to jump in, I think. Let me make sure I'm... I think I have to recon. Yeah, I have to reconfigure. Cause I'm gonna be playing on my. Uh, I've got a May Flash. It's a different. Uh, it's a different, I guess, configuration. And you know, you dummy, it would really help if you plugged it in, wouldn't it? There it is.
Okay, there we go. What's up, Pax? I'm just talking a little bit about the game and the uh, the stream and stuff, and you know, think how how well you know things went well, things that could have been improved upon and such. <coughs> Okay, I think we might be getting some game audio. Let's take a look. Nope, still no game audio. What's up, Arturo? Ah, there's game audio. Let's go. All right. The buttons are a little bit crispy. Uh, it's because they're not far from the mic. I might be able to move this around a little bit, though. See if that works a little bit. What's up, punch a bunch of buttons? What's up, Glarezilla? Did this in the arcade back when it... Oh, I can't do it. You, you, can, you can usually only do it on the first match anyway. But uh, just over and over foot sweeps. It usually only works the first couple matches, though. Oh, wow. Raiden didn't even get his feet down before he jumped again. There we go. Ah, best fatality in the game, I feel like. Kind of have to 50-50 Katana in these in in the CPU matchup because she, you know, she likes to throw she'll throw the fan sometimes uh, at round start, and if you can catch her on that, you can get a free uppercut or a free jump kick spear uppercut. Oh boy! There we go. Oh, I missed. I got in a little too deep with the jump kick. Oh. Oh no. Did it again. Ah! I'm terrible at this game. Jump. There we go. Oh, too late. Hey, what's up, Asamon? There you go. Get some food and watch. Get some entertainment. Works for me. Oops. There we go. Uppercuts in this game are so cr so satisfying. Oops. Cut her in half. My bad. Ooh. Try to get him on some anti-air high punches ahead of time. Got a little greedy. 
Low kick is punishable on hit. Oh man, Jaden UMK3, man, she's no joke. Oh man, that was a lot of damage really fast. Yep, can be pretty they can be pretty rough. Oh, there's that half screen. Not it see it's not just limited to the computer. Haha. <laughs> Got you, Baraka. Toasty. I like how Shao Kahn's palette in the background doesn't darken. Oops. Oh, man. Oh, man, I got flawless by Reptile. That's pretty... Oh, no, what the heck? Did my controller just... What the heck? My controller just disconnected. What on earth? Ugh. One second. What on earth? Come on, man, that's not cool. Nope, completely just said no more. Try it again. What? What on earth? Come on, man. Uh, it doesn't run on battery, Kurosu. Okay. All right, boys, we're moving to the... Yeah, maybe. Hold on. All right, fellas, we're moving to keyboard. Crispy, crispy blue switches, baby. Here we go. No, I'm using I was using a Mayflash F three hundred. Alright, I'm gonna try to raise the mic up a little bit so we're not super duper crispy, but shout out to Detroit Ball in here on the keyboard. Quite as good at that as he is. Oh, this is going to be uh, 
No! Finish him. I forgot Scorpion's pit fatals. Typing of the dead, you better believe it. Down four, four block. Thank you, Perosu. Scorpion wins. Atta boy. Oops. Oh. Oh. Ouch. No! Oops. Can you stand? Oh. Yeah, Pax, you're right. I just, uh, I'm close. I'm knocking on 60's door. Sonic speed rashing. Uh, what music, MGO? There we go. There's some good Scorpion anti-airing. Uh, yeah, it can be. It can easily be done. It's just a matter of, is there enough? The real question is, is there enough uh, space? You would obviously have to add... You would have to add some audio chips to make it work. But you could definitely make it work. It is... Uh, Street Fighter, it is a, uh, it's a Red Dragon K580 with blue switches, hence the clicky clacky. Ah! And I'm using it because uh, I was using my 
arcade stick and it uh, just disconnected. And I didn't feel like restarting the, t like closing everything and restarting the tower, so. Um, I can play on keyboard. I wouldn't consider myself a keyboard guy. But I can play on keyboard. Well. Ah! Oh, whoops. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can low kick Liu Kang to Jade. do that. Have to eat that throw. Well, eat that one too. Nah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, Mariano, um, I've seen it. I really don't care. I'm trying to get uh, a jade fight. Oops. There we go. Oh, that's cool, Street Fighter. MK2 Casuals. Um, not much. I averaged about three hours a night. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. There we go. Yeah. You punch the you punch the air and good things happen. Take that, Jay. Eat an air throw. Uh, yeah, Street Fighter. MK1 through MK4. MK1 through MK4. All have it.
No! Ah, got her. Yeah, they all have it. Spear is so punishable as I get punished by one. All right, Karosu, thanks for hanging out. Haha, <laughs> wrong way, Shang. Yep, cool. Alright. I understand. I understand. It's been a long day. Fatality. Fatality. Of course. Always. Man, attacks against Kentaro do so... Oh, Lord. Attacks against Kentaro do so little damage. But you can do so many of them. What's up, Starlight? One, two, three tea bags. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Ah, oh, he went the wrong way. Oof. Kind of laggy, how? Feel the power of Shao Kahn. I am Shao Kahn. Bow, I rule this world. I rule this world. Three tea bags. Oops. Is that, your Is that your best? Probably. We're going to stick with Scorpion, though. We're going to commit to it. Things can go sideways with Shao Kahn real quick. Oh, I hear the audio getting funky now. Oh, I waited too long. I'm doing okay, Starlight. How about you? No, I am not. I am nothing. But, you know what? My mama loves me, so that's enough. No. Alright, Glacius. Uh, 
Uh, no, Mariano. Somebody, uh, there was somebody that was downstairs that was not part of the event that was drunk that started getting a little loud, but that was about it. Blue, pink, MK logo. What are you talking about? Blue. Oh, the audio. Ah. Gosh, the sound. Oh, the toe tap. Get out of here. Audio in MK2 is just so scuffed. Where is Kano? Okay, that's enough. All right. On to UMK3. Let's see if the uh, let's see if the Mayflash will uh, work again. See, no reason for this thing to not work as it's supposed to. So. Let's give UMK3 a try. There we go. I hope that uh, I hope that uh, this doesn't like mess me up or anything for uh, future arcade stick play. If you look at the Mayflash layout, I have the top three is high punch, block, high kick. Low punch is B or circle. Low kick is left or L2, and run is A slash X. So that's really about it. We're going to go through with... Um, everybody loves Cabal. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, baby. when Sub-Zero goes into that run patch where he's like just starts running everywhere. Dude is cold all the time. Oops. That's something nice you can do with Cabal, though. Run in, do a quick jab, bait the sweep, which the CPU does every time. Uh, I don't know his other fatality. What's his inflator fatality? that with Jax, can you? Ow, Cabal, you're so ugly. Oh, thank you, Pax. Down, down, back, forward, low, uh, down, down, back, forward, block from half. Okay. This is also a ball top, which I'm not, I'm not really used to it. That's why a lot of the air fireballs aren't coming out. Oops. 
Sweet. The screen stays up on that. It never comes back down to the ground level. I notice stupid stuff like that. Oops. That was scrubby. That wasn't so bad. go again. Oh, smoke. Oh, you're so ugly. Fatality. Round one. Fight. Man. Oops. Oh. See, I was thinking of keeping this as like a Street Fighter stick. And then using, of course, my MK stick and my cabinet for stick usage. I just had this one handy. And I hadn't used it much. Well, dang it. Close. That's what I love. That punch was hanging out. Like, I punched. The sweep was just hanging out there. And then, like, he just spins. Oops. Um, I think, Ryan, I'll have to check. Oops. Man, okay. No more uh no more instant air fireball practice on this. Man. Got striker with a little chip out there. Forty-nine. What's up, Jimmy? Ah. Ah, no.
Ooh, backside jump kick. Backside low kick. You ugly striker. Cabal's uglier, though. one. Didn't I just see you? Easy 49. Ah, stupid. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Cheap. Oh, you jerk. Sorry, I'm using kind of cheap tactics, I feel like. But, you know, when you gotta get when you gotta get through the endurance. When you gotta deal with Shang. There we go, let's go. Well done. Ugly. this I don't think the three I don't think the three hit speed run trick works with cabal oof I don't think it does There we go.
There we go. Yeah, just the ground combo. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go. Ah! Oh my goodness. Stick with Cabal, though. You know, stay Cabalin. Some, yeah, soul lanterns. Well, that was bad. Oh, my word. Oh. Oh. That was a nice corner swap. Oops, too slow. Hey, hey, there we go. Got a little advantage there. So bad at this. This bat top stick is not made for MK.
Good heavens. on it oh my goodness I've never lost to Shao Kahn this many times before ever Oh my word. This one's getting put this one's getting put away after this run. This is not not a con, not a good uh, MK stick. Wow. That's not a good trade. I agree. You're absolutely right, Street Fighter. Not have been that tough. Why not punish ourselves further? Okay. Wow, that lasted. Okay. Well 
That was nice. Well, that is taking us right up to 11 o'clock. All right, thanks, TJ. Thanks for coming out. Guys, drop a like on the stream if you haven't. I know it's kind of late. Like I mentioned before, it's been a long day. Uh, this is going to mark the end of the stream for me tonight um i'm wore out it's been a long couple days so i want to uh thank you all for coming out and hanging out and uh i know like i said it was short but it needed to be it was fun though we've got two arcade playthroughs so, uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, guys, for watching. And, uh, I will see you in the next stream. Alright, thanks, guys.